हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव मेड अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोस अबाउट द पी ब्रू पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एंड देयर आर सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट टू कंप्लीट द पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स केमिस्ट्री टू गिव द वाइटल टॉपिक्स एंड हियर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग ओनली द वाइटल टॉपिक्स दैट आर कमिंग इन द एग्जाम्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स एंड मैनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स वी हैव कवर्ड एंड नाउ वी विल सी the group 15 elements in the group 15 the major elements are the nitrogen and the phosphorus that are the important elements about which several times are asked in the exams and here we will see about the oxy acids of the phosphorus it is also a very important topic from the point of view of the competitive exams because several questions may be asked and the questions are very simple so if you know about them you can easily cover these questions so we will see the vital topics that belongs to the oxy acids of the phosphorus phosphorus a compound a element in the group 15 has a very much tendency to form the oxy acids why because the phosphorus possesses a vacant d orbital so it can show several oxidation states like plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so it has a tendency to form the oxy acids while in the case of nitrogen nitrogen does not possess the d orbital so it does not shows the it does not forms the oxy acids in the case of the phosphorus the oxy acids may be of two types one is the phosphoric acid series as is from the name here phosphoric ic is added phosphoric means the phosphorus is in the higher oxidation states and the here the phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state as the phosphorus is in very high oxidation state so it will tend to reduce so this type of acids will have show the oxidizing property it means it will oxidize the other compound and it it itself will tend to reduce another type of the series is the phosphorus acid series here ous is added so it means the phosphorus is in low oxidation state and in this type of the compounds the phosphorus is in plus 3 oxidation state now here the oxidation state of phosphorus is low so it tends to oxidize so it will show reducing property it means it will reduce the other compounds and itself will oxidize now if we say something about this type of compounds the general properties of these acids in this type of acids the phosphorus is four coordinated and tetrahedrally surrounded what is mean by it suppose it is a phosphorus then it will be coordinated to four elements and it will be like a tetrahedral and there is at least one p double bond o bond so there is compulsorily a p double bond o bond is present this bond will be must present in the case of oxy acids and in this type of bond there is p pi d type p pi d pi type of the bonding present another feature is that the ph bond is reducing in character not acidic there are ph type of groups present but this h cannot be removed like h plus it means it is not acidic it is reducing in character so these compounds these acids does not show their acidic property due to this then in this case there will be present a poh group suppose this is a poh group this is the group that is responsible for its acidity it is acidic this oh group is the hydrogen of this oh group is acidic and this group is ionizable so this type of acid shows their acidic character due to this oh group and there may be another oh group may be present or any hydrogen may be present here or it may be attached to any phosphorus atom or it may be attached to a oxygen and then further to a phosphorus atom so there may be any other group present so the phosphorus is tetra coordinated another thing is that in the case of phosphorus it has also a tendency to show the catenation catenation is a familiar property of the carbon 
but in the phosphorus it is also present to some extent what is meant by catenation it means the phosphorus can attach to itself it can form a bond like p and p or it can form a bond like pop this we will call the catenation so this type of bonds can be formed between the phosphorus atoms so first type of the oxy acid is hypophosphorus acid and the formula of it is h3po2 as from the name you can see here this prefix is added hypo hypo means lower than the phosphoric acid it means it will have the lowest oxidation state of phosphorus so here the phosphorus is in plus 1 oxidation state and it is monobasic and strongly reducing in character firstly see its preparation it is prepared by heating white phosphorus with the alkali it means 3 baoh whole twice this is any alkali and this is white phosphorus 2p4 plus 6h2o then it forms ph3 and BaH2PO2 H3PO2 whole twice now see its structure its structure making is very easy and sometimes you all get confused so there is no confusion you can see firstly make the phosphorus atom and we know that the phosphorus is tetrahedrally coordinated and there is essentially a p double bond o group present at least one so firstly we will make this and then we can see there is one oxygen remaining so we will add a oh group now hydrogens remaining are two so we will add two hydrogens at ph groups so this is the structure of the hypophosphorus acid another acid is phosphorus acid h3po3 now you can see here phosphorus acid it means its oxidation state will be plus 3 and it is di basic and reducing in character why because here phosphorus is in low oxidation state so it tends to oxidize itself and it will reduce the other compounds so it is reducing in character if we see its preparation then it is prepared by the reaction of p4o6 with the water so h3po3 is formed now comes to its structure how we can make its structure firstly put the phosphorus atom and it will be tetrahedrally surrounded now there will be at least one p double bond o group then the remaining oxygens are two so there will be two oh groups now the remaining hydrogens are one so we will put one ph group so this is the structure of phosphorus acid we can see here two oh groups are present so it is di basic because we can say that the we have said earlier that the acidity is due to the presence of these oh groups so there are two oh groups so it is di basic here one oh group was present so it was mono basic now comes to the another acid that is ortho phosphoric acid it is also known as the phosphoric acid both the name are for the same compound h3po4 here the phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state and it is tri basic firstly see its preparation it is prepared by the reaction of p4o10 with the water so h3po4 is formed now come to its structure what is its structure so firstly make a phosphorus atom then put a p double bond o group the remaining oxygens are 3 so we will put 3 oh groups the hydrogens are also 3 so the structure is complete now you can see there are three oh groups present 1 2 and 3 so it is tri basic in character now see the another acid that is pyrophosphorus acid h4p2o5 here pyro prefix is added what is meant by pyro if you see anywhere pyro prefix then it means that there will be a pop type linkage present in this case in the case of phosphorus pop type of the linkage will be present here the phosphorus atoms are in plus 3 oxidation state if we construct its structure then the structure will be like that firstly i have said that there is a pop type of the linkage present okay then we will add 
टू पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ग्रुप्स बिकॉज एट लीस्ट वन पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ बॉन्ड इज इसेंशियल फॉर ईच फॉस्फोरस एटम नाउ वन टू थ्री थ्री ऑक्सीजन हैज बीन यूटिलाइज सो द रिमेनिंग ऑक्सीजन आर टू सो वी विल एड टू ओ एच ग्रुप्स वन इज दिस साइड एंड एन ओदर दिस साइड वेल नाउ द रिमेनिंग हाइड्रोजन आर टू सो वी विल एड टू एच ग्रुप्स ओके वी कैन सी दैट द टेट्राहाइड्रल हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पाइरोपोस्फोरस एसिड एंड इट इज प्रिपेयर बाई हीटिंग द फॉस्फाइट्स एज वी कैन सी दे आर आर टू एच ग्रुप्स प्रेजेंट सो इट इज डाइबेसिक इन करेक्टर द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज लो सो इट इज रिड्यूसिंग इन करेक्टर नाउ वी कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट एसिड दैट इज हाइपोफॉस्फोरिक एसिड इट्स फॉर्मुलाइज एच फोर पी टू ओ सिक्स हाइपो मीन्स द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज लो एंड हियर द हाइपो मीन्स दैट अ डायरेक्ट पी पी बॉन्ड इज प्रेजेंट सो वी विल क्रिएट अ पी पी बॉन्ड देन वी विल एट पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ बॉन्ड्स देन द रिमेनिंग ऑक्सीजन आर फोर सो वी विल एट ओ एच ग्रुप्स Now you can see four hydroxyl groups are present. So it is tetrabasic in character. And here we have used the term ik. You can see that there are so many OH groups present. It means it is very highly acidic in character. So we have used here term ik, and it is resistant to oxidation because it is in the highly acidic state, and it is prepared by the reaction of red phosphorus with the alkali. the another type of the acid is the pyrophosphoric acid h4p2o7 most of the questions are asked related to this acid and in this acid the phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state as we have seen here the pyro term is used so we will form firstly a p o p type of the linkage then we will add oxygens p double bond o groups then the remaining oxygens are four so we will add four oh groups like this this is the very common structure that is generally asked and the questions may be asked like how many oh groups are present here so you can see four hydroxyl groups are present here so this is tetra basic in character and it is prepared by heating the orthophosphoric acid if we heat the orthophosphoric acid then pyrophosphoric acid is formed the next acid is the meta phosphoric acid the formula of it is hpo3 and here the phosphorus is present in the plus 5 oxidation state actually this acid exists as the trimer it means the three atoms are linked together to form a trimer structure so if we see its structure there will be a pop type of the linkage so we will make like this and to each as we have said earlier that each phosphorus is tetrahedrally coordinated so to each of them we will add a p double bond o group and a oh group p double bond o group and a oh group and here also a p double bond o group and a oh group so this is the structure of meta phosphoric acid now if we see its preparation it is prepared by the reaction of p4o10 with the water so the hpo3 is formed and this acid is a mono basic acid why because to each phosphorus a one oh group is added this is a monomer and one oh group is present so it is a mono basic acid now we comes to the next type of acid that is peroxophosphoric acid when the peroxo linkage is present it means a oo type of linkage is present then we call them peroxo type of the acids these are basically of two types one is peroxo monophosphoric acid and the formula of it is h3po5 it means the structure is same as that of the h3po4 but only a oo type of linkage is present so we can represent it like this firstly we will form a p double bond o group then we will form a tetrahedral structure now 
we add two OH groups and to the third OH group we will add a OO type of the linkage it means OOH group so this is the structure of peroxo monophosphoric acid next acid is peroxo diphosphoric acid H4P2O8 so its structure will be same as that of the pyrophosphoric acid or diphosphoric acid the only difference is that there will be one OOH type of link is present so firstly we form the structure like that of the pyrophosphoric acid so we form the POP linkage then we form P double bond O groups then we add OH groups and then in the last group we will make a OOH linkage so this will be the structure of H4P2O8 so this is all about the oxy acids of the phosphorus in our next video we will cover some more topics some important topics that will be useful for you thank you